ดีค่ะ I'm p a t h e r i Raksa Wong. Wong and I'm going to take you around Bangkok to see and get a feel of what the new normal is like. People are quite familiar and have adjusted to this new normal, so let's go and get a first-hand look. This is the central business district. Offices and companies are now open, and it's business as usual. And wow, these look delicious. I've got to get myself some. a n i t o mai kan nia. For various locations and public venues, the government has put in place safety procedures and preventive measures. Before entering such venues, everyone has to get their temperature checked and must check in and check out when entering and leaving the venues. This is all to keep tabs on how many people are within one location, ensuring that it is not overcrowded. So everyday life has pretty much returned to normal or new normal, that is, whereby we've got to not transmit the virus and also protect oneself as well. On public transportation, people are practicing social distancing. Malls and department stores open and busy once again. People are enjoying shopping and roaming around public places around the clock. Please wear a mask. Restaurants are now allowing people to dine in, so you can enjoy your meals with your family, friends, and loved ones while complying with the guidelines. Hand sanitizer is a part of this new normal. It's ubiquitous and can be spotted everywhere, from shopping centers to restaurants. Did you know that Thailand is ranked second in the world in the recovery from COVID-19 and first in Asia, according to the Global COVID-19 Index? Could it possibly be because Thais wear face masks and regularly wash our hands? According to a poll conducted by YouGov, we're number one in ASEAN in wearing masks and washing our hands. So currently. We're very accustomed to wearing face masks, and we make it a fun fashion statement through the various designs of reusable masks. As you can see, everywhere you go in Thailand, be it shops, department stores, offices, movie theaters, or perhaps going for a massage, a haircut, going for a jog at the sports facility or public park, everything. Is open, and it's very important that you follow the strict social distancing guidelines practiced globally to ensure that there is no further spread or transmission. A night at Yawarad or Chinatown. Street food vendors have adapted to the new normal, and people from all walks of life are back to savor the delicious delights. It's almost like normal. Like I, I don't really see much difference, which is really good because obviously two months of lockdown and then come back to this, it's, it's fantastic. I think it's a bit different to go out in Thailand, but people don't don't have to be afraid to go out and enjoy with our friends. Uh, of course, we have to wear your mask and and be safe. I think it's fantastic that we all have to wear masks, and you know it's for a good cause, I guess, at the end of the day. So it's worth it. I think it's quite amazing. And that's the first-hand close-up look at what it's like in Bangkok right now. Although there are some changes to keep COVID-19 at bay, what remains unchanged is the charm of beautiful Bangkok.